When Ken Kelman and I were traveling in Africa, we hired a professional driver for our rented Volkswagen bus, Hassan Ghul. Hassan was a Pakistani born in Kenya, and he was the best safari driver in the business. He told us so himself. He looked like Ronald Coleman, pencil mustache, crisp green safari suit, hat with leopard skin band. He was sharp. He made us look like a couple of bums. Bosses, you are going to have a wonderful trip, Hassan said. I have never killed a tourist yet. What I want to tell you about is Hassan's joke. Every night we would come to our scheduled resting place, usually a permanent tent camp. We'd have our supper and then retire to the lounge tent or campfire. The tourists and drivers would gather and Hassan would tell his joke. This is the joke as Hassan told it. Ladies and gentlemen, get a load of this. There was a man, and he wanted to catch a train. So he said to his wife, pack me a lunch. And he went to the railway station, and he waited for his train, and he went to sleep, and he missed his train. Here Hassan would pause, his eyes sparkling, and then the punchline. He was daft. That was the joke. When he told it the first night of the trip, we coughed and tittered politely. After all, Hassan was our employee and guide. We had to show some loyalty. The next day, Kelman whispered to me, Do you think he's going to tell the joke again tonight? Must to stop him. He told it, of course. In a new camp, there was a new audience. We forced laughter, a little more hearty. I noticed the utter confusion in the eyes of the others, many of whom were British, and thus never sure if they'd gotten the joke or not. A few of them laughed a bit out of politeness. The next night, in front of a blazing fire in the Serengeti, Ladies and gentlemen, get a load of this. There was a man, and he wanted to catch a train. So he said to his wife, pack me a lunch. And he went to the railway station, and he waited for his train, and he went to sleep, and he missed his train. He was daft. I exploded when he got to the punchline. So did Kelman. We were looking at the dismay and confusion on the faces of the other tourists and Hassan's expression of triumph. The next night, on the rim of the Ngorongoro crater, there was a man, and he wanted to catch a train. Kelman and I were already guffawing and snorting. They've heard this before. So, he wanted to catch a train. I was seeing everything through a film of tears, pounding on a table, moaning with mirth. He was daft. Kelman and I were roaring and screaming. So were about half the other tourists. The next morning, Hassan said, That really is some good joke, isn't it, bosses? Hassan, that is the funniest joke ever told. It's not just a joke, bosses. You have to know how to tell it. <laughs>